Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Typical tech lad here. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the Galaxy AI features that have been introduced on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Galaxy AI features are powered by Google's Gemini Nano model. So in this video, I'll be testing some of these features such as circle to search, live translate, AI summarization and more. So let's just get straight into it and see what these features are all about. So if we just jump into the settings and go to advanced intelligence, we can see we have different settings for each of these features here. And there's phone, Samsung keyboard, interpreter, Samsung notes, voice recorder, Samsung internet, basically everything and your photo editor and you can choose to process the data only on device if you want to but then it limits some of the results and then you can go to more and it gives you kind of a summary and breakdown of privacy policies things like that how the data is used and more information along those lines so we'll start off by checking out circle to search and this is pretty straightforward you can jump anywhere on the phone you just hold the navigation bar pops up with this interface and then you just literally circle to search and when you do that little tab pops up at the bottom and it gives you more information and obviously it's powered by google so you can all this information will be coming from google search you can highlight text and it'll update as you go along and like i said it works across the board anywhere on the phone and you can adjust what you circled so i've just highlighted a bunch of app icons here we can see throwing up some images of app icons gonna jump into play store and let's circle this one 3d modeling app and yeah it's giving me a bunch of different images based on what i circled and then you can add to your search if you want to just look for the logo so you can kind of drill down into what you've circled just gonna go into netflix here for another example I wasn't the best circling, but got a bunch of different videos. Yep, just go showing me GTA stuff. So for the Samsung keyboard, if we look in the settings, we can see we have different things here. So you can turn on chat translation and then you have your style and grammar. And we'll check out what these features are about. So I'm going to start off by testing this out in a WhatsApp conversation. So I've just got a bit of text here. It's really cold outside and I don't want to go out, which it is. And then you get for writing style, you can change it and make it sound a bit pushy. Current weather conditions are quite chilly and I'm not particularly inclined to venture outdoors. And I've got this German translation, so it's translating that, but the other person doesn't see that translation. And then if I check out translation itself, I'm gonna type hello and I will pick German, even though I do not speak or understand German whatsoever. And we can see it's translated my text live there. Takes maybe a second or two, but you know, quick enough. And then you can just hit send and that will be sent over translated. And then I'm just gonna quickly check out spelling and grammar. And yeah, it'll just correct it. So that works absolutely fine. And I'm just gonna check this out. Same thing in the messaging app. And again, we have options here, chat, translation, writing style, and it works exactly the same. And you know, you can have different options of writing styles. So you can have ones with emojis, things that would be more suited to social media, for example. It's just different ways of saying what you had initially wanted to say. So cool feature, I have to say. In Samsung Notes, we have a bunch of things here which will allow you to summarize your thing, change the formats of text in there. So I'm gonna test this out by just copying some text from this article on The Verge. Let's just grab a bit more, copy that, and slap that into the Notes app. So I split it into different pages. You can see it's a bit messy, so I'm just gonna to go to the AI feature and you can format it and you got different things so it's changed the heading colors sizes textiles bullet pointed stuff so that's really cool and then you can also do meeting notes if you want to have a broken down summary of it and then I will check out summarize and basically summarize it into two bullet points there and then you can obviously replace that text you had highlighted 
and it'll pop it right in, in place. I'm going to check out some larger piece of text here, paste that in today. Just wanted to see how much text it can actually work with. So you can see we've got quite a lot of pages here and I'm just going to hit summarize. It's highlighted this block that was on the screen. So I'm just going to drag this down. And I like this color highlighted feature, this gradient and it says can't select any more text so we'll try selection was too long okay so it has some limitations but you can see i mean that's quite a long piece of text that i've selected so i'm just going to do that and then give it a few seconds and yeah summarized into bullet points So in the photo editor, we have loads of different things here. We have AI suggestions, and then we can see generative edit, which we like, which is all the craze, generative fill. But we'll just check out some examples. So I am going to pick this picture, click the edit button, and then we pop into Galaxy AI, and then I'm gonna circle. So it's snapped to that, and you can hold and move. And then you have option to delete and stuff. And if you hit the generative generate button, it will fill in where I have moved that object. Takes a few seconds and not bad. Done a decent job to be honest, filled in quite nicely. I mean, you can tell that area is not as flowing with the rest of the fence in the background, but still done a good job for the untrained eye. And then you can save that as a separate copy. Then I'm going to try the same thing with this card in the picture. So I'm going to just get rid of it totally. Hit generate. Oh, and from a distance, it looks like it's done a good job. But we'll check it out by zooming in. Yeah, I can see what it's done there. I mean, I know the curb there, so it's not that looks like that. But still zoomed out, it looks absolutely fine. Gonna get rid of this dude standing here with his dog. Hmm. It's yeah, you can kind of see it's left kind of some weird marks and stuff. I guess it depends on you know how detailed the object is itself and the background stuff, the car and the behind him is just not that good. But we'll check out AI suggestions. So you just swipe up and then you get a bunch of different things here. Raise shadows, you can do 24 hour time lapse, things like that. So I'm just gonna hit shadows. And yes, yeah, got rid of the shadows that were on the house. Done a good job of that. And what else do we get on here? We can hit remaster. Yeah, so it gives you a before, or before and after. And it looks like it's kind of bumped up the saturation and sharpened the image a little bit. Yeah, marginal differences. And then there's this feature that allows you to do slow motion on any video that you recorded. So as you're playing the video, you can hold, like, press and hold and it will slow down or you can jump in and actually adjust the speed. So this was recorded just normal speed 4k 60 frames per second and then you can go in and edit which part of it you want it to slow down and save over the original so this just takes a little while to process and then if we check out the video and this slows it down and that's like really impressive slow motion you know it's added i believe it fills in the missing frames and then kind of you get this really smooth okay. slow motion. And then we'll check out a few more examples. So I'm just going to jump in. And what shall I do here? I'm going to add some another object from a gallery. So you can hop in to your other pictures. I'm going to pick this one. Circle around here. And it's snapped to it quite nicely. I'm going to hit done. And yeah, pop the picture in. It's a good cutout. And then that will implement the picture. Don't know, I'm not generating anything. I guess I just have to save that.
okay you can flip it around and stuff anyways didn't know how to save that one but yeah so in this example i'm going to check out the 24 hour time lapse so this picture was taken around 11 o'clock in the morning something like that and it will create a time lapse with different lighting throughout the day okay oh the night one looks quite good and then i guess that's sunrise yeah we'll check out erase shadows and then we can see we got this shadow of the car here on the bottom left hmm i mean it's just kind of faded out a little bit we do have erase reflections there as well and then i'm gonna just check out generative fill so i'm gonna rotate this picture slightly and then it should fill in the missing gaps on the canvas Okay, so it's filled it in. I can see it's done uh, some work with the trees there behind the house on the left and then this roof. It's not a bad job to be honest. I know it's only done a little bit. So in the voice recording app, we have transcript, transcript assist and then summaries as well. Just running a test on the Galaxy AI features on the Samsung S24. So I'm going to check out the voice recording app. To see what it does when it comes to summarizing recorded text so trying to get a bunch of text so that it can summarize but we'll see if this is long enough so i'm just going to go and hit transcribe and you can pick a language if you want to if you have one set there but this is just going to transcribe to english and then you can switch over to summary and it will summarize i know it was on a long piece of text but it will summarize whatever your transcription was so that's handy and then we have live translation in the phone app so this is for any languages which you can set in the settings we can see here you can pick your voices you can choose to mute your voice mute the other person's voice and then if we just have a look at languages here i've got for the other person as german and then you can go in add a voice if you wanted to and i think for germany german they had like two voices and you have to download the german language back and then you see it gives us another voice that we can pick but we'll check out what we can do so it pops up with call assist and then you just hit live translate and i'm going to be speaking in urdu slash hindi even though I can't read this Hindi text here, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. Morning, it's me, relax. Okay, can't say this. How are you? I am very hungry. And then for Samsung Internet, the browser itself has summaries built into it, and you can turn that on and off in the settings. And then we also have translation built in, so we'll just jump in another article from The Verge here, and I will just hit the Galaxy Air button, summarize takes a few seconds and it's summarized the whole article and then you can choose to copy it or you can translate it right there or if i just go back and then hit translate pick your language again german and yeah it looks like it's translated everything into german um, i don't know how good of a job it's done because i can't read german but yeah so that was just a quick overview of the Galaxy AI features. I mean, for me, I think they're really useful. They'll cut down a lot of work time and you can access information quickly. I particularly enjoyed the photo editor tools. Definitely bringing AI into that, which seems to be the craze right now, especially with pictures and stuff. So, you know, with your whole social media across the board, really. And your loads of useful features, especially with the file translate for people who are speaking to other people in other languages. And I believe there was another feature app where you can have a conversation 
live with the person and they'll translate but I didn't have the opportunity to have another person speaking as a, another language for me to be able to test that but anyways thanks for watching guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video just highlighting these features and I'll catch you in the next one take care